All right, guys, so here's another training. This one's um, just regarding ducts. So we're going to go through these. So this is a trunk line. This is a seam that has not been properly sealed, and air will leak through there. So trunk line pictures, sometimes you have to uncover some of the cellulose to get to the seams so you can, you can get the picture. Again, this is a metal seam, seam, seam. These need to be sealed up, so we want to get pictures of that. You see this? I'm going to show you a picture here in a second that will show you how much air and moisture actually does leak out of here. Because you might look at that and say, well, I don't know how much air would really leak out of that. I'm going to show you a picture that's way more indicative of it because it had a swamp cooler in, so it really did damage to it. But that's a picture that you should take when there's a trunk line that you can access. It's a 90 degree turn there. Definitely air leakage. Okay. Same, same spot, just a little bit different angle for the picture. I take a couple different ones so I can choose which one I like best. This is a, a flex line, but it all obviously has some kind of an issue here because we've got moisture around here. So there's some kind of a hole. I know there's a leak right here because this doesn't happen by itself. There's a moisture issue here, so there's a, a, a leak in the line. You gotta keep your eyes open for that. Obviously, this is a return. And you see, even from far away, that there's going to be places where we're, we're breathing in or bringing in dirty air, hot air from the attic. There's that close up picture we talked about. Okay. Look at this register. You see all that gunk and just nastiness built up there? Okay, well, that's because the duct system is pulling in dirty air from the attic and it's pushing it through the duct work and it's coming back out into the air that they breathe. Who wants to live in a home that has that kind of filth? Okay, we can help people address this kind of stuff. This is a great place to be able to talk to the homeowner, bring them over and say, look, there's certainly going to be some, some ways that we can help you because it's obvious that there's issues with your ducts. And one of the rebates that your home's going to qualify for is going to be a duct repair. So I'll get more pictures when I'm up in your attic, but I just wanted to point this out to you so that you know that this is something that we can help address. This is where the, the trunk line in the home, maybe the attic wasn't accessible, so I pulled the register here so that you can see attic leak issues. You can see you can see duct leak issues that I'm going to get pictures of from inside of here. This is that same type of seam that we take a picture of from inside the attic. Well, here's what it looks like from inside of the, the, the duct system from inside of the house, okay? So we want to get pictures of this kind of stuff, you guys. Here's another one, okay? AeroSeal will address this kind of stuff. This is where it's trunk line. This is a picture from inside of the trunk line. So I'm inside of the house taking this picture. This is where the, it, the air drops down into the system. You see that the, the teeth here have never been sealed. So we know that we've got air loss issues. Okay. This is under underside of a roof jack. Again, never been sealed. So Mastic will, will fix this. Okay, we want to address it. So we got to seal it up tight. This is where there's a, a platform that's been properly sealed. This looks really good right here. However, this does not look good. This generally isn't very long. Like this is probably barely holding on with that zip tie because of how high up there it is. And there's no mastic covering anything to really secure it into place. So air can actually escape right through there. Okay. So we can have air loss even right there. But maybe even more important than that, you guys, it, it could pop off. I'll show you a picture of that in a second. This is just another inside of a return here. See the dust that's getting built up because we're sucking in dirty air from the attic? Again, see all the, the buildup here? Because we're sucking in dirty air from the attic. You can see how leaky that is. This is pretty indicative that they've had a swamp cooler when we start seeing this kind of rust. Like duct tape to hold on your hold the, the duct work on it's it's terrible this stuff gets brittle in the attic okay this is a this is a mess look at all that leakage sometimes guys this is like right in your face and you can't miss it but sometimes you have to pull this stuff back just a little bit to be able to see it okay it might be a little bit hidden so don't be afraid to peel back the the insulation part of the duct work to be able to see this kind of stuff to get a good picture because if it stays hidden and you don't find it and you, and you take you don't get a good picture of that, then they don't know that there's a, a 
big issue there. Look at that. Man, that's a massive amount of air loss. This is a improper strapping. Look at this. It's, it's like a 90 degree turn and it's up and down. That's terrible for airflow. This is a register that hasn't been properly sealed to the, to the sheet rock. And again, this hasn't been sealed. So there's air loss potential right here as well. But see what I'm saying? When you go up there and you, you can see it from the insulation, see the zip tie here and a zip tie here. There's nowhere for that stuff to bite onto. Like this isn't a very good collar. And because that zip tie wasn't on there proper, and this one wasn't on there proper, it's, it's peeled off. Like it's pulled back and so there's a lot of air loss right here had that zip tie been put on properly and then this all been gooped up with mastic it wouldn't be an issue it's just another floor jack where there's obviously air loss crushed duct line i see this in attics all the time where somebody's crushed something they try to repair it and they use duct tape this that's terrible that section needs to be repaired but i got to take a picture of it and put it in the notes so that we can address it this attic had a, a rat issue in the past, and so the rat had actually chewed through the, the um, well in this case, duct tape, and then the insulation, and then the duct itself. And I wouldn't have found that if I hadn't had the air conditioning unit on, blowing air so that I could feel up in the attic. If I had went up there and not had the air conditioning unit running, this was on the bottom side of the duct, I would have probably never found it and wouldn't have known how big of an issue it was, and we wouldn't have priced to fix it. The guys would have either not found it themselves or they wouldn't have, uh, they would have been in a tough spot because we didn't price it out to fix it. Here's another, another duct line in that same attic. Same thing. It was on the underside. Look at that hole that rat chewed in that. Okay. Again, just another return. You see all the dust and dirt. Look how it's built up inside of here. Okay. It's getting sucked in right here. Another poor strapping issue. This is a couple things. So again, there's the zip tie. If it hasn't been masked, you know, there's no pookie here to hold it on tight. You see the rivet? That's what's holding this, this piece of metal is it's been turned into a circle. That has never been sealed. So air loss will happen right there as well. Okay. All right. Obviously a lot going on here. This is a big mess. Improper strapping. It's just a big jumbled mess. There's no mastic, so when I see this, I usually know there's probably going to be some, some air loss here. And sure enough, I start pulling things back. You see the discolored insulation, so I know there's air leaks in this area here, right? See the zip tie, no mastic, air leaks. Here's another one, okay? Same attic, just a different location. I peel back the insulation, and what do I find? That is a disconnected duct. Look at that. Whole thing's popped off. So we're just blowing cold air into the attic here. Okay, this isn't stopping anything. Duct tape, zip tie. Where's the rest of the insul? You know where? Where is it? I'm telling you guys, like these are issues that if you peel back the peel back the insulation in the bag of the ductwork a little bit, you'll start seeing some of these issues in there. Okay, hasn't been properly sealed. There again, semi semi crushed line that hasn't been strapped properly. Um, register. Okay, here's a register. This is this is called a um, a damper, so that we can control the amount of air that's flowing through here from inside of the attic, but it's never been properly sealed down here around the collar. Again, this is a plenum, just more more uh, leakage. Another spot. The collar's never been sealed. This is the jack inside of the, the attic, okay? Not properly sealed. Look at this mess, okay? They've obviously had a swamp cooler. You can see how much moisture does a number on metal in the attic. It's a mess. Look at all this dirt build up inside of the register. The collar's never been sealed. Okay, you remember when I was talking about the trunk lines and the 90 degree turns and how that leaks air? Well, there you go. If you don't think that you're leaking moisture and air at those 90 degree turns, there's proof positive, guys. That's a spot where air and moisture leak, so it needs to be sealed. 
this this is nasty enough that this is a replacement. Like there's enough rust here. Or if it's this bad on the outside, you can only imagine what it looks like on the inside and how much of that that metal and rust they're breathing in the, in the air inside of the home. So that's a duct replacement there, guys. Again, because everything hasn't been properly sealed, you see the discolored insulation. Here's another spot where the zip ties down here. It's supposed to be up over the top of this collar, but it's not. And so as a result, we've got a disconnect. Duct tape. Man, anytime I see duct tape, I take pictures of that stuff because that's garbage in the attic. Okay, this isn't good to have in the attic that restricts airflow. This is inside of the return. You can see the leaks. Again, a pinched line because they've not ran it properly. It's not been strapped properly. And so this is reducing airflow. Okay, so there's lots of pictures. I could go on for days and days, but I just want to emphasize, guys, that it is our job to identify with good pictures and good notes so that we can help the customer be able to make the, the best educated decision to get this stuff fixed.